All right, we are here for a little unboxing, and I figured I haven't really pulled this out recently. This is the Vandermeulen Blade Works Double Homicide. So I figured it would be do a, do a good job of opening this box right here. Now, I'm not sure who this is from, and I'm not even gonna try to speculate. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna go from there. And we shall see when we get into it. It's from TPK, but I don't know who they are and I don't know who sent this in. So let's make sure there's no paperwork here or if there is, I can shield that. So there is some paperwork, so maybe that will tell me who it is from. Traditional pocket knives. Okay, that is who it's from, but who is the... Who ordered this? Because it was not me. Technical Knife Company, something, thanks. Okay, I don't know. But let's take a look and see what we got here. This is the Chupacabra in Magna Cut, apparently, from Tactical Knife Company. Okay, it's in there pretty good, guys. It's a good thing they put a cutout in the bottom so you can push it up. It's kind of weird packaging. And then you got some paperwork in here. So, Jibakaba, aluminum scales, uh, magnet cut blade, just assembled by Mace. Okay. So, Textile makes um, some other knives. I think I've done knives. They make the pens. I love the pens. I love the pens. Um, might be the first knife I've seen from them though. So is this the lock? Yeah, that's the lock, not a flipper tab. All right, let's see. I know nothing about this. Interesting. I don't know how I love like the lock though. I'm not saying I don't like it yet. Smooth scales. Probably crazy sharp because Magnet Cut can get crazy sharp. Let's just see because we're here. Why not? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, so it is sharp. That's cool. Um, interesting. Let's clean this off. Might be Aussie Mike's. I don't know. He didn't tell me. All right, so let's see how the lock works. So it's like... I'm not even sure what they call it. What is this? So, I mean, it's it's kind of similar to others. Crossbar lock or whatnot, but the whole thing moves. The whole backspacer in and of itself sort of moves. That whole mechanism moves. Kind of interesting. Interesting little knife. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on this. I need to figure out who it came from um, and all that. Let's see how it works on the pocket real quick because it's got those button head screws, which oftentimes I, I pick on because they get stuck on your jeans as you're putting it in, right? So I'm putting it in and out of my pocket a couple times and it works great. This is big enough kind of a hoop. Sometimes this is smaller and then it does kind of wedge the jeans between the button head and the pocket clip. I still firm believer that they should use countersunk hardware. It's just gonna look nicer and be better in my humble opinion. So, all right, stay tuned for more details on this tactile knife company's Chupacabra.